Hey y'all, we're going to be talking about the electronics on the PM600 series co planters from CAT. Uh, this will be the same as on the PM300 series and the PM800 series. Electronics on them are all about the same, except the 600 is different from the 300. But we'll take a look at the screen here. Now, this is touch screen. I mean, you can still use buttons if you want to, but. This is what I set it on when I set it down on the trailer where the teeth won't dig into the wood. I'm at positive one inch on both sides so that gives you an inch between your teeth and your wood on your low boy trailer. Touch it here, say we're going to dig two inches. Let's hit the two. It's already got the negative in there. Let's hit the okay. Want this side. We'll just leave it right there because I'll show you something. We'll hit the automatic for the negative two on your left side. Hit the automatic for your right. And as soon as you hit the automatic for your right, you get a zero right there. You just hit that. And they'll change this number to zero. It don't matter if it's on nine inches, if you're at nine, and you, or if you made a mistake or something real quick, like you can go to your match and you just hit the zero. You can do the same thing on your left side. That's pretty neat right there. And your top number, you know, that's as much as you can go on the positive side. And that's how you can change if something ain't right. Say your two inch ain't reading two inch on the square and you cut. Just go in there and you can type it in, but on this one, some odd reason when you type it in, you got to put your negative in there because it does not go in there automatically. And if you mess up something on this, just hit the back button, and that'll take you back. Now, you got your feet per minute down here. I got my left side plate, that's the same number as that number right there. You got your cross slope right there, your right gate, your main fall percentage. And you can have your inline skis on here. I just dropped my right one there. But once you pick it back up, it goes away. If you press it long enough, it'll pull up just like it did right there. But I don't mess with that. Okay. When you go in your menu, you got your operator settings. Rear leg control, I'll leave it on because other than that, if you turn it off, you got to lower the rear of the machine every time you get in a cut, and that's a lot of waste of time there. Leave it on. Increment adjusters, I go on tenths, 10, 20, 30. Instead of going in fives, that would be too much. You can go up farther. I don't know why anybody would want to go that fast of adjustment. 10 is perfect number. Display arrows. I have it on manual target adjustment. And what that means is as you're milling, you can change this number when it out of automatic, you can change that number right there. And if it's in automatic, it will be the same. It's automatic on or off. Now if you go in there to the display arrows and change it to manual leg movement, as you see it does not move that your number at the bottom this will move the machine as the same as going up and down with your levers here your rocker switches but in automatic it will change your depth at automatic it is not going to change it because it's just going to be raising and lower the machine i only use that feature when i'm down there to zero out scratch my depth to make sure i'm scratching i need to raise and lower the machine real smallly i use, i change it to the target on the display arrows take it off manual put on target machine ground incline well you're at zero percent ain't no reason to adjusting that obstacle jump it is be honest with you, I leave it off. That's why it's off. I don't, it ain't really a feature. All it does is you come up to a manhole or something, or the entity you cut, and you raise up. It will pop a screen on here, time on optical jump. As soon as you hit the OK button, it's just like turning on the electronics, doing that number right there. Besides doing that, you just hit an OK on the screen. It's the same thing, guys. So I leave that off. 
Tech Sal Sal Slider Bar. I got it on custom. That is that screen down there that shows you feet per minute, your side plates, cross slope, all that goody stuff. You can change that to whatever you want to, whatever order you want to put it in. Because my first one's set on speed. You got speed, you got your gates right here. Your Sonics, if you're running Sonics, we don't have all that stuff. Inboard ski, run side of the road. Lasers, wire rope. Got the main fall in there. Designated elevation, I don't know what that is or the main fall de desiring. Easting elevation, all that stuff, I have no idea. But you can set all this the way you want to. So you can see everything in your menu there. And it goes for the rest of it. You can go up to shoot 15 spots on there. The rest of mine are blank. The units here in America, we go off inches. We don't go off US surveyor feed or international feed. We go feet per minute. You can go miles per hour. Cross slope wind percentages, main fall percentages. Guidance settings, light bars enabled. That will be this light bar right here. If I turn it off, autos only or disabled. So I guess it will blink in autos only. If I had it on auto only, but I actually put it on disabled just to see. This ain't never messed with it. Light bar tolerance. I could go up from point twelve. That's just the default measurement on whenever your number gets out of reach oh I didn't turn it back on 